answer. The com I know you knew the combination of, of Squingy and Mark worked very well. Did you attempt to try and change anything in the format of, you know, another MC going out to be ahead of the game or trying to fly into foreign? How did you ch pick and choose where everybody went? Well, with once you are once you're in it and you're on the ground with the team, you know, and of course you you get promoters who request their selectors who they want. Even to this date, a lot of people, you know, when they're booking base Odyssey, a lot of them would request Damian, you know, a top selector now. But um yeah. but so promoters play a great part in who goes where. Right? Um those days of of um as I said, when when Glamour G and Screen G and uh, and let me not forget Skinny, because everybody played a role, you know, right? Yeah, um, yeah. When, uh, um, as I said, when, 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 um, after all of that scenario and with the, with the break apart and all of that, um, I remember an, an unfortunate incident that happened, right? In that, um, Glamaji and, 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 um, Lenny, I think, right? They took a book in, in, in Fort Lauderdale, right? There was October 441 that they took a book in at, right? And my good friends, you know, you have friends all over. They called me to say, then, 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 then Father Wally, oh, B.S. Addison, I'll come to Florida, you know, make me know. So I say, B.S. Addison not coming to Florida. They say, yes, man, see fly and, you know. I, I don't even remember those times they had emails, but the, yes. the man was standing beside the, because remember, you know, I'm not an Instagram man or a, I'm not a social media person, you know. I yes, sir. Nobody else is phone even to do this interview because I, yeah. I will not be focusing on the social media aspect of it because I think yes, it's sir. discharge. Well, yes, but sir. Um, as I said, so they said, no man, we have the flyer here. So I went on the phone and I called Glamour G and Lenny and asked what was happening. And they reluctantly told me about the date. And I said, well, any you no go? At the night that, you know, I remember telling them that. And I was the one who was, got their visa. So I could not tell them, say, well, any you no go, no in a trouble. So they did not go. They did not go that time. But what they did, they tricked me. All right? The next time, now they met the people of Florida, the same guy, they were 441. I can't remember that club, but it's nearby to the hospital at 441. All right? Um, they booked the sound again, right? But this time they didn't wait till the Friday for, for fly them up, right? They fly them up. I think they were there from about the Monday. So when I heard of the event, that time they were there ready, you know? And I remember in one certain terms telling them, them say, boy, that's it, you know? You know, when I go and do nothing, I made a mind. And, and I think that was where me and, we and Glamour G and Lenny severed relationships, you know? And I think them, them went back and do them complex things for a while. I don't know what happened after that. I think they migrated and did their own thing. But that was what happened there. So um, it was on, 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 on their leaving, right? Then that I remember speaking to Squingy about getting Mark, you know? Because at yes. the time Mark was playing at the, the, the nightclub in, in Brownstone. And they were, as I said, doing very well with the Teen Jam thing. So... Scrinch was reluctant. He, he was reluctant. But I said, but you know, do so well down there, you know, with a lot of you bring the vibe upon the sound. Yes. And I uh, came on the sound was BS Odyssey. It was okay. after the exit of and, and, and Lenny. So Mark yeah. came back in the fold. And since then, he was there up to maybe a couple of years, years down the road. And as I said, we, I think we had a good rapport. And unfortunately, you know, no, nothing lasts forever. He had yeah. his, his other plans and he went his different ways. But, you know, that's what, what, some of the things in life, right? Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. I understand. Um, is, is there a, a, a the rumor, the rumor what was heard was before was mm. that, was that Squingy wasn't as dominant and wanted to do the clash when he first came around the sound. Is that now, true? No, man. Screen G was always the man who 90% of promoters wanted. No matter what somebody, everybody. Screen G was like 
I, I remember Squinchy coming back to Jamaica this weekend and leaving the following week. Squinchy was the man, right? The most requested selector ever on BS Odyssey was Squinchy, right? And uh, as I said, some people look at it and say, I'm a coward. The thing that a lot of people, you know, kind of get confused is that you have some people who hype and chat enough, and then you have some people who are more reserved. And we, but once they get into action, you can't hold them, right? And you would go to a lot of dances, and he would allow skinny to work first. That sometimes me animal vex. I remember a, a, a clash in Montego Bay where everybody want to hear Squinchy. And Squinchy makes skinny start the, 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 the thing. I mean, I said, mm -hmm. are you the people who are here? Right? And he give the mic and say, Wally, make skinny start, man. And skinny did his best, but he just people wanted to hear Squinchy. You know? And as I said, he, 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 he had to warm up. You know, but there were other events like Squinchy won so many clashes all over this this world that I don't know if any other selectors won any clashes as 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 much as Squinchy has. You know, yes. Yeah. When he did his thing, you just nobody could compete with him. The vibe yeah. and everything and his talk, them it was just you, you couldn't match it. You know, yes. And and I think he has killed more sounds than any other selector. That maybe now that he has died so long, some selectors might be catching up. But in his time, nobody would have would have really matched Quincy. No, man. Wow. wow. Mm. So, the, you know, when the when the the split happened, did you end up getting back those dubs, those those music? Did you end up getting them back? You see, as I said, what happened even with those dub plates, you know, is that I was the one who would tape the dub plates. I would leave cassettes sometimes when I leave in, you know, when I leave Kingston, I would leave the, the tapes with the songs. I leave them, you know? Yes. And, um, so it came. But all of the dub plates were basically on, based on the sound system here. And one positive that the coronavirus has given to us is that we have now gone into the archives where we have taken out, I, I don't even know, couple thousand dub plates, right? Yes. And the days now, Damien, myself, and some of the crew, Ville, quite a bit of us, we've been going through those dub plates. And because, you know, when you make a transfer from dub plates to CD or to laptop, there are a lot of songs that got left along the way. Right? Yes. There are a lot of songs that we, we, we just weren't, for one reason or the other, just weren't recorded. Maybe the person who was recording it didn't feel necessary to record those. But, we have, since this virus thing now and re-recording, we actually find about over 300 dub plates right now that we didn't have on the sound that we have now added to the collection. So wow. the next time you come out, you can hear some tiger, some more cabra, some more hammermouth, some more, you name it. We have them. Yeah. You know, so we have found a lot. I, 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 the thing is, we had, Froze again. Froze again. See, and it wasn't the comments this time because I blocked them off. All right. Ah, oh, there he is. There he is. Okay. There you go. Yeah, man. Uh, yeah, so there you we, go. We, we used to duplicate, right? Yes. So we three sets of tunes or four sets. We had the sets that played on the sound system itself. And then we had a tour, a two sets of tour tunes, right? No. Yes. So Bunny got, he, he had a set of tour tunes that, um, if I can remember correctly, Glamour and Lenny were going somewhere. And the, the boxes, they did not take those boxes, right? Yeah. And Glamour claimed that he took them to his house. And it was unfortunate, you know, but... He, he had those dub plates, and but I have the same dub plates, right? Even one of the dub plates that um, we did before we had, we run into it the other day, right? So we, we had the dub, but the fact of the matter is some songs, some one and two songs may have slipped through the cracks somewhere along the line, you know? Yes. But we, we have everything that Bay Sadisi wants is, is right here. Right. Mm -hmm. you, you know, um, Father Keith, the, the only, I think, well, let me ask you, if there was a weakness 
to base Odyssey that is very difficult, what would that be? I, I don't see myself having any weakness, you know, because you have to, you know, you, you have to organize your thing and plan strategic, strategically, I would say. Um, we recognized some earlier that clashing was going to be, it's a phone battery, I got it, you know, I don't know. We recognized some earlier that clashing was not going to be something that we could depend on, right? Because clashing is a thing that, in my summary of a clash, you know, or summarize a clash, is that you spend, let us say, a thousand dollars preparing for a clash, and you only make back 500, you know? Yeah. If, if you, if you, Trying to say that business-wise, are you you approaching it as a business? It is not something that one would say is is financially viable because you always spend more preparing for your clash than you can ever ask a promoter or charge a promoter. The thing is, you down the road or you you maybe you get some bragging rights or something like that. But um, so we recognize that clashing alone could not do. So what we did was we emphasize a lot into the juggling field, right? And we okay. spent a lot of time perfecting the juggling, the juggling things. And you, you name the best juggling selector out there now and put him with a base Odyssey and, and him going to find it hard to stand up with us. And you name the best clash sound out there right now and we can kill that. So I don't see where we have any weaknesses as far as sound system is concerned. The other day we played at a wedding reception and we played some of the highlights band dub, you know. So... We, we, we basically prepared for everything. And if somebody should ask us to go into church, the only thing is we, we really don't think that they mix together. But I think we yeah. could do it and go in and really? play some gospel tune for the whole, the whole Sunday. You know? Yeah. yeah. So I, I think that we are, we, we have learned to, to become what you call invincible. And yes. we don't want to leave and not big up the current crew, you know, because yes, Damian of course. Came along, Damian came along, um, um, with, 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 when Mark was on the sound for a while, I think Mark was the one who first told me about Damien. Uh, Damien used to play a little sound, he was one star. Lexi came along. Lexi used to play. My son used to have a little Odyssey. Lexi used to play that, and he came over because we no longer have a little Odyssey. Uh, Vilmore came along after that. Uh, he used to play on Echo Stone as well, and um, came on to the sound. Um, we have another selector now, Price Young, but doing very well. And he toured Canada a few times. I think the last couple of times we, we played in Canada, he and Damien were up there. Um, Harry D has been with us for a long while. He used to play exclusive sound and, you know, exclusive. Played with BS Odyssey and after hearing BS Odyssey and how we played, he came back from the dance with us. He just said, no, yeah. this is what I want to be with. And uh, we have another youngster who was shooter. I think he migrated. Um, one of my grandson now, who is Romario, he plays as well. And um, Stenit was our, our new newest um, selector who has been to England and been doing very well. Um, I just hope I'm not forgetting anybody. You, you know what, Father Keith? And, 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 and with it is uh, addition to the family, it's pretty glory who is, you know, very versatile as well. You know? Okay. So, and then we have Bishan who plays. Uh, uh, we, we have a very competent and full crew that are very confident in that we can do just about any and everything. Country Spain, big up yourself. We know you're somewhere over there. <laughs> you know, you're not here with us, but you're here with us. You still yeah. play. And, and my son, Keaty, who I think has made a lot of strides in the music thing. He, he currently lives in the U.S. He is an American citizen. But okay. he's on top of the thing. And, uh, you know, the, the, the team is very, very good. We have, what would I call it, excellent replacement killers. Yes. Mm -hmm. you, you know, Father Keith, when, when we talk about base Odyssey, what I'm, I think there's a, a small part that a lot of us forget about Charlie Black. Ah, Charlie Black. How could I forget Charlie Black? Yeah. <laughs> We're bridging from... I know one of the biggest artists in the world, but I tell you, yes. forgive me. Anybody you, you, you know, call him name, feel free to ask me or remind me. But Charlie, <laughs> I, I can't remember sitting in my office down there one, one night. I was up fairly late. I don't remember what I was doing. And Charlie and another selector, they just came in and said why they wanted to speak to me. And yes. um, 
of course, Charlie said he wanted to, you know, was asking if I could take him on the zone as a selector. And yeah. knowing Charlie Black, as we had played against him before, and he did very well against us. He used to play another song um, from Clarendon, and he did very well against us. So I immediately said, yeah, man, you're good, man. And, and he used to work with, um, with us, and I think he did very, very well. And until he started to become a musician, which we supported him all along the way. And to this day, Charlie is one of my best friends, and, you know, we, we, yeah. I would almost call it like my son. Right. Yes. Again. And so Charlie did, and, and every selector, skinny, he did very well. How oh, could I forget Worm? Jeez, and Christ. The great Worm. Worm, one of my hard <laughs> selectors that I think he win the last two or three clashes in England. Worm basically took them home by himself and, and other clashes. But, you know, Worm is a kind of quiet, well reserved guy. Yes. And yes. What what kind of problem? The only thing we have with Worm is some of the times, or most of the times when Worm goes on tour, the promoter, Worm hardly speaks. So <laughs> when he goes to the promoters, we say, I, I know you use the mic. And, and, and Worm, we hardly say, yeah, man, I mean, I'm just nodding head. But you see, once he puts that mic to his, you know, in his hand, is a yes. different man, is, is, is a completely different man in the dance hall. Him just, yes, you know, yes. yeah. So, yeah. So, so Worm is, Presently, I would say the only selector on base Odyssey. He, he was there. Uh, and you know, Worm came from a sound named Conquering Lion, Rastaman Sound. Yeah. Yeah, right. man, we played against Conquering Lion in Spallings, and it was from there. It was from there that he he got his, you know, because Worm did very well against us. The selectors who we yeah. play with that do against us, and some of them want to come across and say, boy, you know, them love how the sound do, them love the family. And and we welcome in with open arms. And, yeah. And you are recruits to Fire Blanche, and I was telling about Spreading Glory, who was solo, but he is a very good addition to the team. You know? Yes, yes. Is there a sound that you looked and said, Jano, this is, if there's anything close to Base Odyssey, or there anything that could give Base Odyssey a trouble, is there a sounder selector that you and Squingy or Mark talked about, or you saw for yourself? To say, wow, hold on there. This, 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 we have to prepare for them, man. Them, man, you're wicked. Come yeah, on. Um, lots of sounds. Lots of sounds. Because there are sounds, you know, man, that they plan for you, you know. They plan for you. We have been into events where sounds just want to ambush we. And, 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 and up to recently, you have sounds who try to, to ambush we. But we have, we have such a large catalog and such ammunition that we, we, we always keep ourselves current. So when a sound come and him feels like why him cut half dozen new tune and him start run up him out, we just run out the half dozen artists tune them out there. I, I run out all of them and them, them have nowhere to go. You know, because yeah. they have to keep yourself current. But there are sound systems out there who we have had to plan for. I, I won't start calling names, but there are sound okay. systems out there who cut a lot of personalized tunes. And I think that is what is even making the clash thing so difficult. Because the, the, the volume of personalized tunes now, you find people who you have to be cutting a lot of that too. So, and then that, those tunes are only good for one night. You know? Right. Back in the yeah. days when we used to clash the Black Cat and the Super D's and all of them things, the songs were songs where you could have play and play and play again. You know? Nowadays, a man, him sit down, him listen to your song and him make a counteraction, him make a personalized tune to kill your tune. And you have to be spending more money to re-counteract that. And, and that reminds me of what we and Cartel had. Because, you know, the riff with we and Cartel. Because yeah, at one yeah. point we did play Vibes Cartel songs for a long while. Right? Because he gave Troopa a song, gave us the counteraction for the song. And then when we played the song in the World Clash, him, him, him re -counteract, the counteraction why give we again to Troopa. You know? So the, the, it makes the Clash thing a little more complicated with all of these personalized songs that are going around. And if you find, so now what is happening is that if you don't have a ton load of money, you really can't clash because it's personalized students that is just good for one night. Uh, yeah. and, um, it, it, it just makes it so much difficult, you know. But because you love the fans and you appreciate the fans, we still take clash dates. This year we were, we were supposed to be in, in New York for the um, Sound for Dead. We had taken the Sumfest clash in Montego Bay, Sumfest. And... Um, of course, all of that, the virus come in and maybe what yeah. 
So I'm here sitting with you right now. It's because of this virus. Because we don't much have, we don't have not much more to do. More than <laughs> link up each other. <laughs> on these social media platforms. But if we ask the question you want, man. I mean, you know, as long as I remember, I will answer whatever yeah, question. Yeah, yeah. Y you know, Squingy, man. Squingy, he, he pretty much changed the game for a lot of us. Um, but I remember I'm trying to go back to the 2002 World Clash where I thought you guys rolled over everybody but lost to Rebel Tone in the tune for tune. And I'm, I'm wondering, what was the mind frame of... Were, I don't, were you there, first of all? And what was the the mind frame of them going in tune for tune, playing some different dubs, some different things that, you know, I don't, I guess I don't know if the people were really used to or accepted from base Odyssey. No, what happened here, you know, you know, you know, um, Wiz and everyone listening is that what happens in, in we, we won every round. We won every round except for that last round with um, Rebel Tone, right? And sometimes you say things happen for a reason. You know, you have to just find the positives out of all of the negatives. But we had cut some other one-to-one -one songs, right? As I said, we're always preparing. So Mark and I, we had decided, I think that was the time we cut Baltimore with the Tamlins, and we cut some of the one-to-one -one songs that we thought would have gone over well, right? Right. And we played a few of them, and, and the crowd just stand up on them like they never know them, you know? Well, mm -hmm. Rebel Tone just took stick to play in the the regular songs that everybody know. And, and, and that is where he, he got around us because we, we were experimenting with some, what we call big songs in them era. There. If you know Baltimore, if you know yes, other, yes. other songs that we, we cut because we wanted to give the people. We didn't want to come back and play the same one for one songs at that time. But yeah. then you realize, yeah. you know, you realize that people want to hear what they hear already. You know, I'm yes. able to play what the people want to hear. No, 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 and them something there. <laughs> and one day went with, with, with pretty much nothing. But I mean, right. we're not this little tone, but since then we have not really heard much about them. Uh, you know, I don't think they have retired, but, you know, no. the market is still there for them, still there for us. And anytime we are, we are still here. One is just one right. of them things that didn't go your way on the night, you know, and we have okay. to just accept it. And we kept our team together and we rebuilt and we, and we move on, you know. And we move on, yeah. Ah. Now, Mark is not with the sound anymore. He's actually building his own sound. Mm -hmm. But you have such, such history, such a dominant selector, one of the best in the world. Is, why is there, why, did he just choose to do his own thing and build his own thing? Why not, you know, a, a Base Odyssey movement continue? Well, like anything else in life with um, people... After a while, they, 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 you know, you start thinking because let's let's be frank. Um, everybody wants to own their own thing somewhere along the line, you know. Um, I yeah. remember when Mark told me that he was going to build a, a round robin song. It was supposed to be a little, what do I call it? Just a round robin, a powered song. That's what he told me, right? Okay. And we, we, I was getting some, on, you know, reports back on when Mark toured and all of that, some little incidents that happened. And I remember when he was leaving the last time, I even went to him and said, I, I, I've made another offer to him because I was hearing things and I made another offer to him, right? Uh, to step up whatever audio was before. But that time he was in the middle of doing his own thing. And when he, he came back, um, the, the disappointing thing, though, and, and the thing that I think I, not think, not think, but the thing that I, I really didn't like was that I think he tried to, he didn't leave just by himself, but he tried to influence maybe another selector or two to come with him. And, and that's the part that really, really did jerk me off because there's nothing wrong with you going out and doing your own thing, you know, but go out and do your own thing and find your own team, you know, and um, that, that, that didn't go over too well with me. And unfortunately, okay. you know, we don't die to eye right now. But as I said, up to those times, I think we had a good rapport. And yeah. he went ahead, did his own thing. And, and he will even tell you, when he started, I sold him some of my speakers, you know. I was yeah. to me. <laughs> no, I didn't know. No, I didn't. And, and yeah. 
And I sold him some of my speakers, um, and I'm saying this public okay. here, I know him. Right? Uh, so I, I yes. didn't have anything against him, but I didn't like yeah. a few groups, I didn't like a few comments that he made, because I, I don't think that they were really necessary. And some of my selectors took it even more personal than I did. And they were the ones who influenced me to say, watch out, you know, make sense to take dates with me because somehow or the other, they see a confrontation, a major confrontation coming, right? And that is okay. why we, yeah. I, I stepped in and I said, well, we're not going to take no date because everybody will try to prove, you know, if we're going to clash and them guys win, there are some comments for them not like. If them lose, worse are comments. And uh, it just didn't need to get there, so it didn't need to get there. So, yeah. I understand. It, 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 so, you want to move on, you move on, and we have a good, you know, you just say, Boy, I'm going to do my thing, and you go there, you find your own team. And, and uh, um, as I said, I had no hard feelings. And if I had, I would yeah. have sold what I sold him, you know. Understood. But Understood. It escalated to a point where I had to step pick in the bookings. Mm -hmm. Yes. Y you know, is, do you remember a dance or a clash that you had to let let's just say you overspent you had to really spend was it any of the world clashes was it or is it the uk's what where was it that you had to like really spend why we have to laugh you know because there's not a clash where you are a world clash where you can think of where you don't spend your last dollar you know sometimes you come from yeah. student you got a glass of water you know you, you, you spend, I can remember you know, my day, you know, I cut tunes, you know, drop asleep on the floor, the motor arrows on the carpet, I run off tune because selectors nowadays don't know what it's like in you know, those days, you know. Them days uh, you had to tune up the dub plate, tune it, and you had to be there if the dub plate is three minutes, it's three minutes. It's not like, no, you just put a thing in your laptop, whoop, two minutes, everything run off, you know. Every song yeah. had to play in its entirety. So if you cut a hundred songs to the class, you know, you have to find time now to go back at the studio and the hundred songs have to play for the, every song have to play the three minutes, you know, right? So sometimes you do them in the morning. So I really wouldn't say that I would have overspent because you, you're always going to a clash trying to put together songs that we want. Some artists, yes, you know, really charge and, and, and things, especially if they know see a clash, they might go overboard. And, and one of the things that I didn't like that was creeping into the business is that you have some songs who actually peer artists not to give you the song. No, I, I, I can't see through them kind of thinking there. You know, you don't peer a man not to give a man the song. You try and write your own song that a man can't, you know, you go there with your own lyrics that a man can't duplicate it. But you don't say, yes. me, you're not know, going give me a song. And, and, and you have songs who do that. You know, but... um. Yeah. As far as spending is concerned, as I said, you put aside it and you put aside some songs. And sometimes even when you believe you have everything, you, you, you still find some boy a man come out with another song where you want. But it is always big spending with. And yeah. as I said, fashion is more for bragging rights. You spend more than you can ever charge a, charge a, a promoter for. You know? So it's not yeah. Yeah. in area of a sustainable business. If you don't have it, have it as a hobby, because some people have some business and it's like a hobby, you know. They take money from other business and dump in other in, in something, right? No, I don't believe in that. I believe say, the sound should somehow be able to sustain itself. It's a business, you know. Right. <clears throat> so, all right. Now, for, this is when it gets, it gets serious. I have to ask, because it was said in, te, in an interview that Base Odyssey... If you charged ten thousand dollars for a night, then you are only giving the selector a hundred and fifty dollars. Now, I don't want to get deep into your business, but true, you don't have to tell me what you're paying. Right? That's none of my business. But true or false? Well, I would rather you. But that's false, definitely false, right? <laughs> <coughs> <coughs> Selectors who work on base of the sound system that tours, they will tell you that they get a commission. They get a commission of what I charge. So it's a percentage, right? Of what I charge. And they are, we agree with the percentage before they even set foot on the plane. Right? So I don't yes. know how that one fifty dollars would come in. You have you have um, people who may want to say things because of 
maybe the 150 is a percentage of what we got, you know? So I, I can't tell you, so that, you know, maybe we, we, we have never paid out 150. Sometimes we go to a dance. I have been to a dance already that I can't even find the promoter when the dance is done, you know? Yeah. Can't find the promoter and don't get a dollar. So maybe, yeah. you know, you have to find them. But once the agreement holds true, and the, the, the and I tell my selectors what, what I charge. Before they leave, they know how much they're getting paid before they leave Jamaica, right? So that, that, that in no way cannot be, you know. And I, I could expand more on that, but as I said, there are situations and there are circumstances, but basically they work off a commission. Okay, all right. Uh, I, I won't ask you much more. I won't keep you much longer. Um, I just want, can you bring me back or do you remember a base odyssey stone love where it kind of got, you know, out of hand? My father poor good, good friends, you know. And I think for the first seven or more years, uh, yeah. stone love refused to take date to base odyssey. And, um, I think it was all because of a, a, an event, another dance, you know, the earlier days with Tina and myself that um, the word stone of thought that we were the ones spreading rumors so we killed them, right? But we, we didn't do that. You know, maybe selectors, because selectors are a hype set of people, you know, man. Sometimes you listen to some selectors talk, you wonder if it's a different world, you live in a with them living, you know, right? You, you hear someone <laughs> talk something, you say, no, man, I know this is a world of them, you know. They mean a world where they yeah. for themselves, you know? Yeah. So selectors will go out there and they want to hype for themselves and they say, oh, why we kill that and we kill that and we kill that. But, and I think um, the word got to stone love and they took it away personal. And um, so they, they decided that they're not playing with us. I can't remember one particular dance in St. Mary near Port Maria that we and myself actually almost traded blows, you know, because I was playing BS yeah. Odyssey and he was playing stone love. And I, I, I remember when... Um, when, um, what was it now? Stone Love was playing. And you know, Stone Love always play over the time. Yeah, I do yeah. remember that. So Stone Love will play, oh, I'm not playing oh, one hour for oh, one 15 minutes. And I was playing BS Odyssey. I remember holding down the lick shot because he was going like oh, one and a half now, you know, right? I mean, I hold down the lick shot. Do, 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 do. I, I, I tell Stone Love, come on, man, you no know, play pass on the time. And yeah. I, so me a weep out, put on the mic and say, yo, you see, if you ever lick that lick shot there one more time, no, me was a serious young boy too. So me <laughs> not lick one more time. Who hold it down forever. Do, 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 And the next thing you know is Paul move from around a theme zone. A man of your hold back, Paul and a hold back. And, and, and that is where it, it, it really... The, the, the serious split with Stone Love started because Paul said, well, they're not more day to do it. And you know how we started taking back dates, though? It was when Byron Lee came in with him, um, with him carnival thing, you know. So he made a dance hall one night and that one night. And remember the people who organized it called me and said, boy, they want to be a sadist, Stone Love and Metro Media to play a new Kingston cinema too. So I said to the man, say, but Stone of not take no date with me. I have years now, Stone of don't take no date with me. You know? And yeah. uh, the man said to me, say, Watcha, I want you to know, say, a weep or give me the number for call you. You know? And that was the first time after so much years we had Stone of and Metro Media played in a cinema too. Dancing flat still, you know, because it was more a soccer yeah. thing. But we yeah. started here, and since that, we have been going good. Uh, there have been some incidents where some little dissing, dissing gone, but you know, overall, I think me and Weepo have a, have a good rapport. He's a man with me and him reason. And yeah. uh, the selectors and BS are the same. We have a nice good thing now. We appreciate them stance. They don't want to crash them a juggle. So when we're on yeah. the play, juggle, you know. Yes. And, and, and I would love if more sounds could be more professional. If a man book you for juggle, you go there and juggle, you know. You don't just go out there, man, book you for jug and you have some little hype selector, man, who come say, boy, oh, you kill me, you know, you know, you know, come there, you know, yeah. you, you, you get a little money, come juggle. And then you yeah. have to turn up within yourself, you know. Yeah. But I will tell all sound systems, once a man book the SRC to juggle, we're not going out there to clash. We're going out there to do what the promoter paid us to do. And that is juggle. When you see clashing, yeah. then we're going to clash. But if it's juggling, it's juggling. You know? Yes. Is, is there... 
right now, do you have a, a variance of price for different, because I know Damien's well-requested, Worm is well-requested, Dylan just making his way up there, Lexi's, and then is there a different set of price because of different selectors? And, and did that start with, if that if so, did that start with Squingy and, and, and Mark or, or anybody else? Well, firstly, Damien and Dylan, she's the same person, you know. You said Damien a while oh, ago and my, Dylan. Yeah, my, my point. Same. All right. No, no, no problem. But um, it's based on this. And we tell promoters okay. that, you know, if we did not, when, when, when um, Squinchy came on the sound, you know, yeah. people were demanding one, you know, we had to ask them, say, give the youth a chance in good. Right? Because people wanted to yeah. one. And so it is, is the same thing. When, um, when Skinny came, people didn't want, they didn't want Squinchy, you know? And, and we had to say, give man, give man a chance, man, you know, because it's young blood and you're going to have people come in. And I said to, the, I said to all of my selectors that you determine what happens with your own destiny. Because when you go out there and play and bust the dance and people hear about you, promoters will request you. It is my duty to try and satisfy um, you know, a, a, a promoter at all times. So if a promoter is going to pay me and he says, boy, I want to squinch you and he now get squinch you and put off the gate. I, I don't have no choice, you know. I have to try my best to, 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 to do what the promoter wants to do. One thing I will tell him, though, is that if we have another booking, then you can't get that man. And I'll be honest with him. You know, I don't believe yeah. in pulling up or originally no promoters. So if, if it is that the, the, the promoter is requesting a particular selector, I will try to convince him to, that I have selectors who are just as good or who I think will do just as well and, you know, because, let's face it, if you're not at a certain standard, you can't play BS Odyssey. If okay. you, every selector on BS Odyssey right now go through some drilling, most of them play on the truck, they learn to play from 5 o'clock evening time till 12 o'clock at night time when the other selectors come. Because in Jamaica, you know, we string up around 4 and the sound, the, the, the professional or the big selectors you know, start play till all 12, you know. So the young selectors yeah. have to play the whole way. So they learn. And, and they, they sometimes not the peak hours, them get a little bring in. And we're not going to put somebody out there who, who cannot do the job. That's why I tell uh, mm -hmm. uh, um, you know, most of the promoters, me, Mark, you know, everybody is perfect and somebody will have a bad night. But we, yeah. we try best to make certain that whoever we send to represent, represents the name properly. So we don't yeah. have a chance to squinchy different to skinny. Or whatever. It's just BS Odyssey. A book BS Odyssey is $10. Whether it's Quincy coming or whether it's Glamour G coming, is $10. Uh, for, okay. for right now, whether it's Moore or Damian, is $10. You know? So we yeah. don't have a, a, a difference. It's just BS okay. Odyssey. Okay. Okay. Now, I always ask this question always, always, always to every dominant, you know, man in the industry or female in the industry that I talk to. Can you remember the? Oh, he froze. Oh, he froze. Okay, I'll put the, your comments on. He froze. Okay. You have to log. On. All right. All right. Wow. I'm hoping he can log back in. The battery was dying still. So I took the comments out so that we could just reason. Um, if you, you heard everything that the man said, here he is. Here he is. Yeah, man, I, 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 I call came in and cut you out. Yeah. Yeah, no, no problem, no problem, no problem. Oh, now, I, I said, you know, I, I, I basically gave you the, the evening, you know. So, okay, okay, so okay. Can, and you can ask any amount of questions, you can ask what be sad is. Okay. I will, I will respond accordingly. Go ahead. Is, is there, from what you saw standing on the outside watching your sound play, watching yeah. the great bass odyssey manifest, right? Is there five MCs that you think, or there's four that are in Squingy's league? Do you? 
<laughs> Who is, man? Come on, man. Screen J, God rest his soul. As I tell you, he, I, I, I regarded him as, I, I regard most of these youngsters as sons, you know, because yeah. we have that kind of relationship. Most of them call me Father Wally. And, and you must look into the history of the SRC Wits. Of all the sound systems that, no matter what people want to say, that have been out there. Bass Odyssey has retained nearly every selector from them time they know. And I can tell you nearly every real selector has left. Squinge is still with yeah. us when all the systems them. Some sound system I call him and half I'm some half I'm this, some half I'm that. And him we tell him me and him sit down and we laugh over it. You have some sound system I call and say, why well, squinchy this and that or they want what and what they will give, right? And yeah, you know, we, we sit down and juggle over it and laugh. Sometimes Quincy we in our position and then we call a man because he was like that. And we call a man and say, Why me can't want two tire? And then we all tell a man, say, Why, why you know you pay me this week? But that is how selectors are. You know what I mean? <laughs> from, from the man there. Then we tell a man, say, Why, why you know you pay me this week? You know, I, I can't remember one of the weeks this thing when Squinch died, a man I go say, Why, them here say, Me I kick Squinch out of room to put in spank. Now, if I was like that, as I said, every selector, you name them, they have still been around. We have lost the least amount of, most of the sound systems out there, them change selector this week, next week, the other week, the other week. Damon has been on the sound for maybe over 20 years. Squinchy did pretty near to that. And the Glamour G and, 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 and Skin Lenny incident, I told you what happened. Skinny. Yes. Skinny was a similar scenario, whereas, I mean, you know, when I get too deep in it, we me, me, me actually see Skinny no taking a play and going to, to America, go play a BS at so many know about the date. I mean, still take him back. And, and to this day, me and Skinny are good friends. Skinny are come and sent and come check me. Tina one is there, same way. So I, 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 I will not go into saying that Squinchy, uh, I mean, to compare people with Squinchy. Squinchy was just Squinchy. Uh, to me, he was, a, he, he was a man with a God-given talent to play a sound. Squinchy's talent was just a play a sound system. And don't take nothing away from that. You know, as I say, he will have his little hiccups. Everybody have a hiccup. Everybody have a little yeah. flaw with a weak link somewhere. And he's have a little hiccup, whereas maybe reluctant to start the clash and reluctant to something. Once him get kick started in a dot, you tell me, me I tell you, say the man over the other side have a run when him done. You know, he, he, yeah. his, his talent was just to me unmatched, right? Yeah. And today, I think most of the selectors that has followed in his footsteps try to emulate him somewhat. And I'm going to tell you something, you know. Based on this, play one event one night, you know. And yeah, yeah. And even flap, you know. Right, because like every sound system, we have flap events too. You know, we it never, yeah. we, we never, no, yeah. we have flap events too, man. I mean, really. Oh, okay, good again. Hello? Yeah. Yeah, we have one night, man, man. I know, me until I say, they reach at the dance and the man in there make beer, yeah. nice like a fly. <laughs> that me a rush go there, but me not see no car. Me a say, oh, this a dance that looks so. But to us, Quincy, I go on from the inside, you know. You believe the dance ramp. This is where we go out the doorway. As Quincy alone in there, you know. The man has get such a vibe in you know, the place that you would have believed some people in there with him, you know. But he was just that kind of a person who, to me, I would not compare anybody with him. I know I'm not saying that nobody okay. was good as him, but from right. where I stand, he won a lot of clashes. I see him take clashes from nowhere. You know, him, him know to change a clash. The songs, he was a good selector. He was a good person. And that is one of the reasons why to the day when he died, I did my best to make certain say he got a, a good funeral. And yes. But it's one disadvantage he had. You, if Squinchy make up a mind to say, watch out, this shoes is black, you know. As white as it is, you can't tell him, say, you can't tell him nothing else, you know. Once him say the shoes is, is black, and I yeah. tell him, say, no, man, white shoes up, man. Him say, nah, man, nah, man. When yeah. Squinchy get 
car verse him, him drive from you go watch you go buy a, a pack of cigarettes and come back. He's just that kind of a man, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can, can you tell us the, the the bounty killer story, the bounty base odyssey story? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, still as you know, and 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 in this instance now, we 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 have to say boy well, enough respect to him, of course. Uh Bujo Bantan, the same thing. Um Beanie Man, all of them DJ in that era. I think we, we and them all came on the scene just about the same time. Right? Yeah. Um Killer was always that man who everybody wanted him dub plates. It was just that killing, killing kite of dub plate there. Right? Yeah. So I can remember a whole time growing at Jamis and sitting and wait for killer. I remember one time we go around there and sit down and kill her, you know, and, and, and that was one killer, you know. But we have had different, different people caught bounty killer for us, you know. I can remember even Chaitan, he did some. Glamour G would have done some. I did a lot with him myself and he's an artist that, like every artist, we